Okay, so welcome back. Uh, we just finished the big fight in the middle of the street outside the headquarters of, I believe, what I believe is the final boss. Um, so we're going to continue on and see where what happens. been dealt with, but... Now, they're ours! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Winning a fight is all about numbers! Two rebels against all of us at once? We're gonna stomp these little roaches right here and now! <laughs> Are you ready for what's in store? This is what you get for playing hero! Time for a whole new Akiba legend! Incoming! Yeah! Barf! You got one hit KO'd by an idol singer? Ha! Go to hell, demons! Damn, they've got a ringer! Make that two ringers! Chia! Rin? Toko? Sorry I'm late. Got a little held up cleaning house back at Mogra. But... Toko... How? Ordinary humans shouldn't even be conscious here. <laughs> I, um... I kinda gave up being human. <gasps> Toko became my familiar. She performed the blood contract with me just now. Okay, hold up a minute. This is I, I'm pretty sure we all saw this coming a long time ago. <laughs> Although I kind of figured she would... Yeah, oh well, whatever. We'll leave it as is. Don't tell me that was the trick up your sleeve. Well, um... Look, it's not like I did this on a whim, okay? I've been thinking about it for a while now. I've been trying to figure out what I could do to help everyone. To save everyone. But to sacrifice your own humanity? That's going a bit too far, don't you think? No, not at all. I mean, if we lose this fight, there won't be anything left to fight for. All the people I know and love here, their happiness will just disappear. And that would be a much worse fate than death, as far as I'm concerned. Sis, I made sure before I did it that Toko was completely serious. And, well, what's done is done. The contract's sealed. She and I are bound now. Toko, do you... Um... have a lot of modest clothes I don't know about. <laughs> Whatever the consequences may be, I'm fine with them. Because in the end, no matter what happens, I'll be able to walk the streets of Akiba with you at my side. Besides, not much use being a normal girl in Akiba if there's no Akiba left, right? Toko. Huh? Sis, you're hurt! Uh, yes. That must have happened just now. Uh, who scuffed up this beautiful leg? It's a national treasure, you know. No one vandalizes art like this and gets away with it. Oh, that's it. I've had enough of this. It's punishment time. The numbers don't lie. We still have the upper hand. Let's get them. I'll handle things here. I'm gonna keep them busy and make sure Sis doesn't get any more hurt than she already is. It's up to you to take Toko and find Big Brother. And stop his stupid plan in the name of the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Alright. Toko and I can get the job done for sure. We'll do our best. Be careful, you two. You've got a noble soul, Toko Sagisaka. I'm proud to have you for a familiar. Go kick some ass! I believe in you. So, 
Yeah. I was kind of wondering when Toko would join me, in, or how she would join me, and that's how, so, yep. Problem solved, just had to kiss Rin. <laughs> Top floor, this must be the place. How the hell did they get this thing up here? This must be the source. <sighs> hey, don't worry about me. I've got no regrets. I'm strong enough now to look after everything I love. That's what's most important, right? I've been holding you back this whole time. But not anymore. Now I can finally keep up. We can split the burden. No matter what's ahead for us, sad or happy or horrible, we can share it 50-50, like we always have. That's really why I did this. To be your equal again. Um. Thank you, Toko. Dude, you don't have to get all serious like that. You're making me blush. Well, well. I'm impressed you made it this far. And I must say, I'm surprised as well. I was expecting Shizuku and Ren. Good! Be surprised! And call off this miserable excuse for a world domination plan while you're at it! And that's not a request. Do it, or we'll make you do it! An admirable attitude, but I'm afraid you're already too late. This device, you see, ensures the continued survival of the Night Eater clan in perpetuity. Think of it like Noah's Ark. The output still needs some fine tuning, but once we find just the right glorious frequency, all who come to Akihabara will find themselves drained of their energy before they even know what hit them. One gentle tug on each mortal body, and all those lifetimes worth of energy will be ours. No! Don't you realize it's going to turn Akiba into a ghost town? Akiba a ghost town? I find that highly unlikely. As the greed and the passion are sucked from the marrow of its people, the town will swell with its majesty. Few will be able to avert their gaze. As opposed to now, huh? Akiba's not enticing enough as it is. No, no. You misunderstand me. I don't seek to destroy what this town represents. Rather, I find it all quite exquisite. Those who wander its streets are filled with a greed so pure and mighty that its power is akin to a monk's religious convictions. That's why this became the nexus for my master plan. No other town in the world could nourish my people so well. Spare me your bad guy spiel. Your noble goals couldn't be any more selfish. There are good people here. You think any of them want you messing with their lives like this? But all I seek to do is gather their surplus energy. Energy they neither use nor need, and provide it to those who need it the most. If you were in my place, would you honestly be content to sit idly by while your entire race is slowly dying? Of course not, but that's not what I'm saying. Here, I'll make it really clear for you. Listen closely, okay? Don't cause problems for other people! Seriously, we learned that in freaking elementary school. I can see I'm not getting through to you. What about you, boy? For what reason do you fight? Why have you gotten yourself mixed up in this absurd, foolish war? You have no chance of winning. I just want your outfit, really. Um, no. Yeah, which is for the sake of that which I hold most dear. To protect what I truly care about. Oh? And what would that be? Uh... uh my friends. And you would do anything for that? Even if it means condemning my people to death? Um... There has to be another way. Is that truly what you feel deep down? 
I suspect there may be a few chinks in your armor, little boy. Yeah, maybe he has a few doubts, but that's what I'm here for, to put those doubts to bed. You're not alone here. You don't have to take this all in yourself. I'm right here, by your side. Um, thank you. Sadly for you, it seems he took your little speech to heart. So I suppose I have no choice left but to eliminate you both. The last pesky vermin in the way of my dark utopia. Which will it be, I wonder? The strength of your will or the strength of my destiny? Let us put them both to the test. Let's take them down. Oh, I guess I can't get it. No, Fun clothing. I don't want to get a regular clothing again. There's just not enough people to go in people. So I can go do the chain. Oh, you jerk. Oh, that it? Alright. meant to take you lightly, but perhaps I underestimated how quickly you've grown. Very well then. If this is to be the trial my people must overcome, then by my hand it shall be overcome. Ha! Come on, bring some friends. How does he still have that much power? This isn't good! Hurting him just made him stronger! How does that even work? I don't know if we can win this! We will, because it's you and me. Yeah, you're right. We've been together our whole lives. Alright, let's tap out whatever reserves we've got left and beat his ass with friendship! I'm Toko the Ever-Living, confident to the end! But thanks for giving me the push I needed to remember that. Now come on, let's beat the baddie! Let's take him down! Two. Right. Here we go. Oh, there is a right now. Okay. Stand by then. Stand by. I got a hit. Stop it. 
Familiars of two night eaters. Such an ironic conclusion. Our future, the bright future I saw for us, will never come to pass. Why not? It still could. There has to be another way to save your people without resorting to this. To save both our peoples. Um. I wish we could have trusted one another. Yeah, that's exactly right. You could have learned a lot from Shizuku and Rin. They've had the right idea all along. I see. <sighs> but this world is nowhere near as simple as you make it out to be. One cannot always trust others with all one's heart nor put faith in the words of a stranger. Man can only depend on himself. That's not true. The world may be nuts, but as long as we go into it with ideals in our hearts and work toward making those ideals a reality, anything is possible. It's a hell of a lot better than just assuming it won't work and coming up with some evil scheme to get results, at the very least. <laughs> you too are so very pure, just like the atmosphere of this town. I suppose this will be our last meeting. Farewell, children of Akihabara. <laughs> It's over, huh? Oh, how are you feeling? Um, actually, a lot better. So this machine really is what was causing it. Stirring 
cleaning up the sinister blood inside you was pretty much just bad news all around, I guess. Um, what about you? Are you alright? Oh, I'm just fine. I mean, now that it's over, it almost doesn't feel real. I'm like, in the clouds right now. But I'm just going to chalk that up to being high on, I don't know, heroism or something. We really did save everybody, huh? We saved Akiba. Like, all of it. Yeah, we did it together. Yeah. Yeah! We actually won! People on the streets are going to be smiling again. I can hardly believe it. It's like a dream. Like a beautiful, wonderful dream. 